But weather is such a big part of mm -hmm. agriculture, obviously. Our farmers are, you know, soaked, just like everybody else's. We whine about our grass right. being so waterlogged. Their livelihoods are waterlogged at this point. So we are definitely enjoying this drying trend that we have thankfully been in. It'll continue as we go through the day tomorrow. As a matter of fact, we're going to start off with fair skies. Temps in the 50s. That's right, I said the 50s. Nice, refreshing change tonight. If you have a chance to open the windows a bit, a lot of folks have already told me they're doing that. High clouds will continue as we go through the afternoon. Probably some light smoke from time to time. Temperatures are going to be in the 70s as we get into the latter part of the day. I noted the clouds and the showers farther to the north. It's all about trajectory, right? not only near uh, near to us, but then the larger scale trajectory also. So we will see some high clouds that are coming our way. We're not expecting any rain tomorrow, but then when you kind of broaden things out a little bit, you can't help but see that's that trajectory. Now we've been talking about this all week because of the smoke that's coming from the Western wildfires. There's some fires up in Canada too that are lending a little bit here and there, but really it's all about how the path of the atmosphere is going to move that smoke. And as it gets that smoke way up into the higher ele or higher altitudes, uh, eventually it will carry and translate to the east. Now this is today's smoke path and you can kind of see how our very intense smoke area is out here in the west and that smoke is shooting to the north. It kind of gets a little lazy here in the nation's uh, northern section, but then it begins to dive south. Now you'll see here in Ohio, we had a little smoke earlier and then it began to clear out toward the evening. As we go through the next couple days, that trajectory will begin to change and we'll start to see the ridge that is this path flattening a little bit and that's going to push that smoke back our way. Let's take a look at it here on our big picture in the week ahead. The ridge is basically a bubble of hot air and it is sitting right over the drought areas uh, in the southwestern and western United States. It is such a huge magnitude of drought that the drought is actually driving the weather pattern at this point. So all the hot air is sitting here. It's not going anywhere. All that will happen is it kind of wobbles and waffles a little bit, gets a little gooey on the edges. So watch how our trajectory here starts to go more west to east by the time we hit Saturday. The reds are coming a little bit farther to the east as that big ridge, the bubble of hot air begins to expand. So we have warming temperatures that are going to be coming in. But we're also going to be watching how the smoke traverses the country in the upper parts of the atmosphere. And it looks like once we get towards Sunday and then into next week, we will once again have that smoke coming back at us. So something to keep an eye on most certainly. But look at that. That big bubble of hot air is just not going anywhere. And that will just continue to keep that drought going. No relief for them. National Design Mar Hour by Hour forecast 77 tomorrow. High clouds, a little light smoke passing through, but it should be a beautiful day for us. Here's your Union Home Mortgage Outlook. And remember I said that that bubble of hot air is expanding. The temperatures are going to be warming up and at the same time we get more humidity coming back. Rain chances around on Friday, scattered shower and thunderstorm chances Saturday into Sunday, and then the heat really doesn't abate too much as we go through next week.